and my music, man, my music gonna speak for itself, to be honest, because it's either you like it or you don't, and to be honest, the music is for me, and the motherfuckers who like it. All right. And I like and I like that you keep it raw, you keep it authentic, you know what I'm saying? That's why I asked you to come on the podcast. Because you are who you are, you know what I'm saying? You don't hide shit from nobody, you know what I'm saying? You keep it up front and you speak your mind. You know what I'm saying? We need people like that on the upfront. For anything that we doing, uh black owned, like like I said, um to Lily, I don't really like saying black owned, you know what I'm saying, because it limit us to what we could do, you know what I'm saying, for working with anybody in the world, you know what I'm saying, but just stand on whatever you're doing. Like, you are just gonna stand on black man, stand on that shit. If you go uh, be a brand and, and be yourself, stand on that shit, you know what I'm saying, just be yourself. Don't let nobody stop you from doing what you're trying to do, you know what I'm saying, so what, what motivates you to do anything that you're doing? To be honest, everything that motivates me is everything that I go through on a daily, because it be people that tell me, oh, you can't do this. Mm-hmm. Um, or tell me what I'm doing, don't put money in my pocket. Right. Or me pursuing doing hell ain't a real business. Or just anything. Like, a lot of people talk down on me. A lot of people probably wish the best for me. But I feel like me personally, long as my family, support me long as my people who support me support me we good we gonna take off Facts, and that's what I try to tell everybody that's um, doing something in business or just doing anything that, that they love to do. Like, don't let nobody stop you. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? So, where you, uh, what's, your, what's your end goal? Where do you, where do you see yourself, like, retired? What's your end goal? I, I haven't really thought about that, to be honest. Well, not too many people say that. Why you ain't, why you ain't thinking about having a right now? You still in Yeah. To be honest, because I ain't where I want to be. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I love the city. I love New Orleans, like everything in me. But this ain't it. It ain't the stop. So I can, that's why I haven't really thought about it in goal, I guess, because I don't feel like I'm done. I feel like I got, still got shit to do. You, uh, you, you travel a lot or you... Uh... No, see, that's the thing. I got to get out there. The yeah. most I've traveled is like the southern states, never northern. Right, so and that's what I tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? I've been to a lot of different places. There's a lot of different people out here, man. So if you feel like you're not making it at home, put yourself out there. Like, don't be passive with your own shit, you hear I me? Mean? Like, if nobody don't put it out there, you got to put it out there. Put it in people's face. Like, if you like if you on my friends list, I'm going to send you everything I post in your DM. Like, I, I lost some followers from that, but the people who see me grinding, and want to see me prosper, they go, they gonna post that shit, and they gonna share that shit, and they gonna be there for you. You know what I'm saying? So don't never let somebody, one person, stop you from letting the world see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So um, getting back, getting back to your music. You know what I'm saying? Why do you, why do you love doing music like you do? Uh, to be honest, I just love music itself. Like when I sit down and have time to write, I be in off mode because I think about a lot of stuff. And I don't really know how to articulate myself, like, as far as emotion. So when it comes down to your music, it comes out more, like, fluent. Like, I'll be able to just sit down and write. Sit down and write. But if I was to get up there and freestyle, like, on some info shit, not happening. I got to be drunk. I'm going to be honest. I'm one of them writers. I sit down and I write. That's good that you take your time. I gotta think right. Mm-hmm. I can't think right when I'm, you know, impulsive. I don't, I, it's just anger. There's yeah. nothing else there. <laughs> so, um, let, let's get back to your, um, your childhood. What's your, what was the school you, what was the last school you went to? Um, like high school? Yeah. Bonneville. Bonneville, I was Bonneville. Oh my God. So, <laughs> I got to just say this. Bonneville was crazy. Yeah. Bonneville was crazy. Now, yeah. yeah it good. was crazy. <laughs> they had gang fights and everything. A bitch got stabbed from here to here. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. But overall, like, I enjoy going to school because I like to learn. Mm-hmm. I do a lot of reading. I'm big on that. 
I'm big on education and knowledge and knowledge of self. Um, I guess that's why a lot of people cling to me, my, my spirit. I'm, I'm good hearted, like I don't, you know, get too much in that, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I had some good memories at Bonneville. Me and my best friend went to school together, me and my brother went to school together, so you know it was up. I ain't gonna lie, they had a bitch try to play with me at school behind some nigga, yeah. and it was just like, what the fuck, like... <laughs> You was, but, on, you was on that type of time, or, or you was just like... Nah, to be honest, I, like, I never was the type to really just start a fight. Like, you would have to fuck with me for me to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no bully, but it could get like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've never been picked on in school. Like, I've always been the one to be like, let's go hang with Lex, or let's go sit by Lex. But I was always quiet, though. But I turn up every now and then. Like, the only person I really hung with at school was, like, my best friend, Tori. My brother fuck with me from time to time. And, like, a couple other people.